What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Poshmark, an app that my wife actually showed me a long time ago. Maybe some of you have heard of it, maybe some of you have not. If you've not heard of it, I'm gonna be telling you all about it today in this video. It involves buying and selling men's fashion. It's something that honestly I have become addicted to since my wife showed it to me. I've bought in all kinds of things on that app. So today we're gonna to talk about some of the main points of the app, some of the stuff that I've bought from Poshmark, some of the stuff that I'm putting onto Poshmark in my personal clothes closet, how you guys can jump into Poshmark. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here we go. Now, I was super pumped when Poshmark reached out to me to make a video for them. You see, I've gotten a ton of requests from apps and game developers and websites, and I've actually turned them all down because I don't use them or I don't have interest in them. And here on the channel, I'm not looking to waste your time or mine throwing videos at you for stuff that I don't even use. But Poshmark is a different story. And before you guys freak out and call me a liar, here's my profile on the Poshmark app. And if you notice there, it says I've been a posture since December 2016. So I've been using this app for, you know, close to two years. December will be two years. So I've been on it for quite a while. Now what this app is, is a buy and sell fashion and accessories app. And let me tell you, I've bought so many things on this app. I've become pretty much addicted to looking on Poshmark before looking at a store on an item that I'm interested in, just in case I might be able to get it cheaper on Posh. I've actually bought this blazer on Poshmark. I'm wearing these jeans right here. I bought them on Poshmark. I bought sneakers. I bought t-shirts, sweaters, all types of things, all on this one app. And one of the things that I have found that Poshmark is really nice for is spring cleaning and refreshing your wardrobe. What we're going to do today is talk about some listings I'm going to put up there today and go through some of the features of the app. The very first thing you need to know about Poshmark is all brands have a place on this app. You can find Adidas there, Brooks Brothers, Nikes. There's so many different brands and items to choose from. I have literally never had zero search results come up when looking for an item from any brand that I've been interested in while searching on the app. Adding a listing is actually really simple. You start by taking a photo of your item and I recommend you do that with really good lighting so the photo shows all the aspects of the item so people can get a really good look at what they may be potentially buying. Next, you will crop those photos to make them look good on the listing and that's pretty much self-explanatory. And then you will add the most important part, the listing details. And this is the most important part because this is where you will tell buyers about your item. You will describe it put it into categories, tell the size, and then you will choose the price. And speaking of that price, one thing I like about this app is when you choose your price, you also get an automatic look at what you will earn after Poshmark takes its fees, which actually is pretty minimal when you think about how much facilitating this app actually does as far as selling your items, getting you hooked up with shipping. They do a lot and I really think the fee is actually pretty fair. But that's pretty much it. After you follow those steps, your item becomes listed in the app and then someone looks at it, they may become interested or they might just purchase it right away or they might send you an offer, which on the flip side is something that you guys could do as well. If you find something that you like within the app, you can make an offer on it and see if the seller will accept it. That's how you get really good deals on some of the items that you find within the app. Again, I bought this blazer and I made an offer on it. This is from River Island. I thought it was really nice color, really nice cut, was my perfect size. You can actually put your size in your profile so you only see things in your size, which is nice. You don't have to make the accidental purchase of something that's smaller or larger than what you meant to buy. But anyway, I made an offer. They accepted. I got the blazer. Everybody's happy. It really doesn't get easier than that. If you want to see some of the things that I've uploaded, I'm going to put a link to my closet in the description along with a link to help you guys sign up for your own closets if you wish. In my closet though, you will find a lot of the clothes I've either grown out of or really what it is is I've just run out of space for these items and I just want to get rid of them so that I can bring in new items, you know, a little bit of spring cleaning. Specifically, some things that you'll see in my closet are some really nice shirts from Untuck It. They got some new stuff coming Coming out, so I'm gonna make some room for some of that stuff that I'm gonna pick up. And then one of the things that I've actually just run out of space completely on is watches. And this is really the hardest thing for me to list because really I love all the watches I have, but 
at the same time, I have no space in my bedroom anymore for watches. So occasionally I will, when I get a new one in, I will put an older one on Poshmark and then uh, send it off to somebody else for a really good deal so they can enjoy the watch. In essence, it's just a really cool and easy way for you not only to clean out some of your old stuff and make room for new stuff, but you get to make a little cash on the side as well. And then you can, if you're like me, put that cash into buying some new things that you can't live without. It's, it's just a really great app and that's why I agreed to do this video. I also wanna thank Poshmark again for inviting me to make this video for them. And I wanna thank you guys for being open to it. Remember, I turned down a lot of things like this so that I can only bring you things like this app that I actually use and enjoy. I do not promote hype and I do not promote brands that I don't personally believe in or use. So I really wanna thank you guys for giving me that opportunity. As usual, drop me a like and a comment down below if you like this video and you wanna chat about it. Usually I respond when I can to as many people as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me to keep up with all the latest content coming out from the channel. And with that, I will say thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. I'll be back with you guys again very soon. Take it easy, I'll see you next time.